In the oil, we're gonna be using Valvoline Zero W20 Full Synthetic. And we're just going with the Wix filter. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to do, put your foot on the brake with the car on and activate the parking brake. And you'll know it's activated when you get the brake light on the bottom right of the dash. Jack up the car. We got two jack stands, one on each side. There's one other thing I like to do is put the jack under the car just in case the jack stand were to fail. There are jacking points where you must put the jacks. And they kind of look like this, they come down and out. The next step guys, we got the skid cover. Protects the oil pan from ice and rocks. And it's just got Phillips head screws and flat head screws. Looks like there's about eight of them. The majority of them all around the, the sides are this half turn flat head. You just turn it halfway off and uh, it'll fall right out. The remainder are Phillips. So back here, up here in the corners. Two of them is a different style Phillips, but the tools required, flat head, Phillips screwdriver. Okay, after you guys get the skid plate off, let's pull up on the oil dipstick so we can relieve pressure when it's draining and loosen up the oil fill cap. Just leave it like that so no debris can get in there. You're gonna need a 17 millimeter socket and or a wrench for the drain plug, which is right on the passenger side of the engine underneath. And to loosen that up, you're gonna wanna position your oil drain pan so that when it comes out, it will land in the pan. So visually inspect the washer and make sure it's in good condition. So once it's done draining, it'll start dripping like this. You can go ahead and put the drain plug back in, tighten it up until it's about wrist tight. You don't want to over torque it. Then wipe it so you know it's not leaking. Next thing we're going to do is take off the oil filter. This part always tends to be messy, so put on a rubber glove. So once you got the oil filter off, check and make sure the rubber gasket is on the old oil filter and not on the mating surface. What I like to do is take the new oil filter and rub it up against the old one just to get the gasket lubricated. And when you start the putting on the new oil filter, just make sure you spin it counterclockwise first until you feel it drop into the first thread like that. And then spin it clockwise so you know you don't cross thread it. Because this only needs to be wrist tight and add a little, like a quarter turn. Wipe up all the extra oil. It's so the next step. We can put some oil in. We're going to add 3.7 quart. I like to mark my container at 3.7. So we go 1, 2, 3.7 will be right here. So when I'm done pouring, I can check the level. After you add the oil, go ahead and start up your engine and check for leaks. So once you have your car running, check around the oil filter as well as the drain plug. Take out your oil dipstick and stick it in the engine and it should be between those two dashes, those two marks. So as you can see, our oil is perfect right in the middle. The last step is to put back the skid plate. And once you have the skid plate fastened, we can go ahead and reset the oil change percentage. You go into your radio. Hit the home button, go to settings, then go to vehicle. Then you can scroll all the way down to maintenance information, tap select reset items, oil and filter, and then hit reset. To disengage the parking brake, you put, with the car on, you put your foot on the brake and you push the parking brake. And you'll know it's off when your brake light goes off. All right, guys, and that is how you change the oil and the oil filter on the 2020 Honda CRV. Thank you guys for watching.